Dear John McCain, my name is Stephen Hawking. I suffer from a disease called the myotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. My illness has progressed over the years and I am now almost completely paralyzed. I am able to speak with you through the use of what is now commonly referred to as a computer. The development of the modern computer has progressed substantially from the first basic machines conforming to Dr. Alan Turing's 1939 definitions. In 1941, four years after you were born, Conrad Zuse constructed the first working machine featuring binary arithmetic and limited programmability. At about the time when you were 10 years old, the ENIAC was completed. Weighing about 27 tons, it was the first high-speed Turing complete digital computer capable of being reprogrammed to solve a full range of computing problems. Today, 67% of nursery school children and 80% of kindergartners are active computer users. As for myself, while I'm unable to walk or talk or feed myself or bathe myself or defecate without assistance, I have been able to master the use of the computer. For example, through a combination of eye, blinking and cheek scrunching, I am able to construct my thoughts into messages known as email, which can then be transmitted to other computers via the internet. If I can communicate the minutia of quantum cosmology, cosmic inflation, helium production in an isotropic Big Bang universes, the density matrix of the universe, the topology and structure of the universe, baby universes, quantum entanglement and entropy, the nature of space and time, space-time foam, string theory, supergravity, Euclidean quantum gravity, the gravitational Hamiltonian, gravitational radiation and wormholes. And if I can do it all by blinking my empty barely functional eye at a freaking computer, then I think you can manage to send an email. Rather than hiding behind your POW status for the 500th time, I am sorry if I seem unduly upset, but ever since you divorced your first wife, you have been cashing in on the POW card to bail you out. You used it 30 years ago in Arizona when they called you a carpet beggar. You used it to dodge culpability for your involvement with Charles Keating. You used it to justify owning 10 houses while calling Barack Obama an elitist. You used it to dodge your lying about being in Pastor Rick Warren's tone of silence. Worst of all, you used it to dodge responsibility for considering Ava's dancing queen your favorite son. It is time to man up and take some responsibility for your own actions. I could go on, but you have just celebrated your 72nd birthday, and we both know that time is short. Also, Rick Davis is a complete tool. Uh, Professor, uh, we really thank you for the extraordinary effort you made. Thank you very much indeed.